What's good YouTube? In this video, we're going to be showing you just a very simple thing uh, that I want to show you about man coverage and how to make it better uh, with some simple just formational kind of suggestions. And we're going to be showing it to you out of the nickel 3-3, three, three, the nickel 3-3 three, three cub. We're going to be explaining to you why the 3-3 three, three cub is such a good defense in this game. If you're watching this and you want to get my 3-3 three, three cub defensive ebook, please join the Patreon. The link is in the description. The Patreon is where you can get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. So if you want to get access to all that stuff, the link is in the description. Again, it's only $10. Uh, but to start off, I just want to show you uh, cover two man out of nickel 3-3. Three, three. And we're going to show you two different coverages, cover one and cover two man, and the kind of how to think about defense. So verticals this is one of the most popular reads right now in the game you're just going to quick throw um, and you see how cover two man will pick that off however if i was to audible uh over to cover one robber what you'll notice is this quick throw um if i don't know why brady can't throw it but this quick throw to the right is going to basically torch any kind of cover one or cover zero coverage uh and we'll show it to you here again just snap, throw the ball out there. You see how he'll a lot of times will break that tackle and he'll be able to run after the catch. So what you want to do is you want to shade underneath, but the problem comes whenever they're not actually able to press them. For example, if I were to streak my tight end, okay, and let's just go ahead and do some just some random routes just to get these guys out of the way. You know, let's say I did a route combination like this out of this cover two man, and we're going to shade underneath, but my middle linebacker is misaligned on the tight end. He's not going to play with good leverage, and it's going to allow me to throw that high point, um, you know, into my tight end. So there's several ways how, you know, I could make this happen. You know, for example, just do something like this. This is why cover two man is so important. However, the other problem with that is if I was to run, you know, just different basic clear out routes or whatever uh, to try to get this open, it's going to be hard for the, the, the man coverage. You're going to see here again, he's going to always have this step on him and I can throw a high ball in the seam. So how do we defend this? How do we use the shaded down technique without um, causing that problem because shaded down man coverage is actually really good um, against a lot of the meta route combos that you're going to see except for the streak um, which is obviously the best route in the game this year so um, the way you do that is you need better alignment so because this linebacker is off essentially what's going to happen and you'll see this with the safeties as well um, I'll show you this out of LB blitz so you'll see here again now the safeties let's say we want to play a little cover zero um, and we're, but we want to have the shade underneath to stop the wheel because his safety is off coverage. He's going to try to run down and essentially take an inside underneath technique. And you see here again, the same basic problem happens where the tight end can get over the top, um, of the safety. Let me show you to that one more time and then we'll talk about the solution. So again, the reason this is a problem is because what is happening is the safety is coming down. And he's trying to essentially go into man coverage. And if you look on the left side, the same thing is going to be true. They're going to run down. And now there's just so much leverage to throw these streaks over the top for a one-play touchdown. It's really the number one route that's open against shaded underneath man. So the best way to cover that is through alignment, which is what we're going to show you with 3-3 Cub. So if I was to audible down to Mike Blood 0, and let's say I shade underneath you're going to notice something really interesting. So um, you'll see that we're going to play really good on everybody except for the tight end. Literally everybody except for the tight end, we're going to play perfectly. What you saw right there, the tight end is wide open over the top. I could have easily, you know, had I blocked somebody or whatever, I could get the ball out of the tight end, okay? Again, the same. The, the main reason um, is because of the alignment of the safeties. Now, I want to show you something. What if I bring my safeties down to about right here, for example? Okay. Now you're going to notice something uh, fairly interesting. So, again, same basic thing. Just trying to show you the streak. Uh, and what you'll see here is he doesn't get burned as bad. See how he doesn't get burned as bad? And he is with him. And it's because he's closer to him. For whatever reason, with, with shade underneath man, as long as you can keep the defender from taking the false step, 
then you're going to be able to prevent the bombs that a lot of you are giving up, a lot of and, and bombs that I've given up. So the best way that I know to do this is out of three three cub because this linebacker is in perfect alignment to be able to guard this tight end. So I'm going to man this guy up on the tight end, and then I can do whatever I want over here, right? I could man this guy up on the running back, you know, whatever I want to do. And now this gives me these safeties that I can put in co in different zones. For example, maybe I want to do a coverage that looks uh, looks kind of like this. I think this is one of the better coverages right now, uh, which is this this um, outside third on the left, the inside third from that safety, and then I have that tight end manned up with that linebacker. So now I can feel free to drop like a curl flat or something over here to the right. And what you'll notice is, again, I'm going to try to throw these streaks. Uh, I'm going to use a wheel route, and I'm going to use a streak. And what you'll see here, and I'll throw a corner, or I'll throw a C route as well. Um, but what you'll see here is kind of just, again, just difference in terms of how this is going to play. So snap the ball. You see the streak. He's going to run exact right with him the whole way. Same thing with the C route. And now we're able to play some really, really good coverage. Um, and the reasoning is because now we're in a better alignment. Man coverage, whatever man coverage is the meta, you really need to pay attention I think to your alignment and the alignment that you're trying to create. So let's say we did a defense that looks like this. You're going to notice that now because the safety is the one that's coming in man to man, he's going to have hard, a hard time. He's going to be automatically underneath. However, it's a good thing in this scenario and he's almost able to intercept that. If I click on that might be a KO, that might be an interception. So the point being is just get your linebackers um, close to the line of scrimmage and you can put them in man coverage. Like this is shaded underneath with two hard flats, two purples, and we're going to put some streaks on the field. Okay? And you're going to notice that by and large, we're going to be okay defensively. We're going to be okay defensively. We're all okay across the board. The one thing that is open, obviously, is still the corner route, um, but that's expected because that's a man beater for the most part this year. You know, if we shade it outside and underneath, um, you know, maybe we, maybe we drop again, that purple into a 25 yard cloud or a uh, 25 yard purple or whatever, you know, and then, you know, again, you're seeing the, the power though, of how, when you have proper alignment on these players, they're going to play so much better in man coverage. Um, so much better right there, that tight end. I don't know why he got bumped, but even with a high ball, my guy's right there. He almost knocked that out. And again, if you put deep route KO on these dudes, um, this will make this significantly, uh, significantly better. Obviously you could go with just a traditional two minute ender, of course, um, which is, which is fine. Like you could do something like this as well. Um, but I just wanted to do this video primarily to show you that shaded underneath man has so much power in this game because it shrinks the windows that are where they're going to be open. And it also really helps conserve or, um, it helps kind of deter aggressive catches. And then if you can figure out how to get that proper alignment, it can make all the difference in the world. Again, if I was running 3-3, three, three, for example, and I wanted to shade underneath, I wouldn't have the safeties in man coverage. I would want these linebackers uh, to be in man coverage. So let's say we did something like this. And then if you watch this tight end, because my linebacker is inside of the tight end, he's like shaded inside, he's going to play a little better. And now in this example, we do have some safety help over top helping him. But you see how much better he plays compared to the safety. When the safety's on an island, he's not going to be very effective. Okay? Um, if you want your safeties to play really good man coverage while on an island, bring them down into the box. So this is shaded um, outside and underneath man coverage. And if you watch here, this tight end, um, he actually did cook there. But I'm just telling you, if you move those guys, there's this little sweet spot where you can move your safeties down, and they're not going to have as much of a uh, as much of a, a problem. This is also why you want them to have a little bit more inside leverage, in my opinion, uh, for this. And same basic thing. And there you see see that right there. See how they swap off, swap swap off and play. You know, okay uh, for the most part. So this is kind of a little uh, tutorial on how to play shaded down man. Now, um, you know, another way that you can stop these wheel routes without having to shade underneath, I actually think is backing this guy off on the right. So you'll see here this quick throw. 
Um, yeah, he'll catch it, but it's a lot more likely to be catch tackled whereas opposed to before. So those are some things that you might want to think about. Another thing is just move this guy just a little bit. Um, you know, just manually move these guys down and inside, I think, is very helpful for the coverage. I think it's very helpful for the defense as a whole. And then we obviously know how good of a defense this 3-3 Cub is and the fact that they basically have to really uh, improve their pass protection. So if you want to learn the rest of the defense and how to adjust out of it, I think that this defense is definitely um, the leading defense in the game right now. Make sure you're in the Patreon. The link is in the description for just 10 bucks. You'll be able to get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. Thanks for watching the video, and we hope to see you guys over at the Patreon page.